Welcome to the Grants Dashboard Report Tutorial. The purpose of this tutorial is to demonstrate how to run the Grants Dashboard Report in PeopleSoft. This report replaces the printable version of the Grants Information Report many were accustomed to seeing in the old finance intranet. It also contains the supporting details of the Grants or the Sponsored Awards section of the University Dashboard. The ability to create this report is available to anyone who has PeopleSoft access. If you have questions regarding how to run the report or questions regarding the information on the report, please email the Contracts and Grants Accounting Department at cggrants at mailbox.sc.edu. After logging into PeopleSoft, you are presented with the PeopleSoft landing page. Use the main menu link at the very top of the page to begin navigation. The path to the Grants Dashboard report is Main Menu, USC Enhancements, Grants Dashboard Report. If you have never run the Grants Dashboard report, you will need to create a Run Control ID. You only have to create a Run Control ID once. The next time you run the report, the previously created Run Control ID will be available for use. Click the Add a New Value tab and enter Dashboard underscore RPT. Spaces are not allowed in the Run Control ID, so we're using the underscore symbol as a space. Click the Add button. Because I have run this report previously using this Run Control ID, the parameters were saved here for me. Notice that the Run Control ID that was created is shown in the upper left corner. We're going to run this report by project and I'm going to use accounting dates of 1-1-1901 as my accounting date from because I'm not exactly sure of the start date of my project. And I'm going to use accounting date 2 of 8-31-2016. Although we have specified this date range, when the report is generated, it will include the total project budget amount regardless of the accounting date range specified. However, encumbrances, pre-encumbrances, expenses, and cost share expenses will only be displayed in the report for the accounting dates specified here. This report can be run by award ID, project ID, department, or award PI name. Your search can include all projects, only active projects, or only inactive projects. If no project status is selected, the report will run using the status of all as default. We're going to run the report for project 106787. We're going to select the project status of all and we're going to keep the file type as PDF. No additional information is needed to run by project ID, so we're going to click the Run button. On this page, you only need to verify that the format is the one that you selected on the previous page. So notice here that the format says PDF. Nothing else on this page needs to change, so we're going to click OK. After submitting, 
PeopleSoft assigns a unique process instance number to this report, which is listed below the process monitor link at the top of the page. To monitor the status of this report, click the process monitor link. The report is complete when the run status equals success and the distribution status equals posted. If needed, you can click the refresh button until those statuses are updated. To view the report once it is finished processing, click the details link to navigate to it. Continue navigating by clicking View Log Trace. And now you're going to click the file with the PDF extension to launch it. Here is an example of the output. Notice at the top of the report we have the award information. And if we continue to scroll down, we have information related to the project. I wanted to draw your attention to the indirect cost rate. This information is not available in the university dashboard, but is available when running the grants dashboard report. At this point, you can either save or print the report. Thanks for attending today's session. Click the button to complete the PeopleSoft course completion form.